Hi guys, Liz Bay here to give you an update on my Project T. It's been a while since I've given an update, so uh, I also brought a little of my cute little tea accoutrement things to show. Not my teapots, maybe I'll bring those next time, but um, first let me show you what I've gotten through. Uh, I finished my last package of loose tea, the International Breakfast Tea uh, from SpiceandTea.com. It's a little, well that's their website obviously it's a little shop about a, a less than a mile from my home I thought I was going to be happy when I finished my loose tea because it's kind of fiddly but after using this and the uh, tea back from or the loose tea from before I've kind of gotten into a rhythm of using my little tea accoutrements so I will probably go and choose um, probably just one bag at a time. I believe these are like an ounce bag and you get uh, probably I make like 10 uses but you get more than one cup out of a use. I'll show you that when I get to the little tea things. Uh, so I probably will go ahead and buy more loose tea. I didn't think I ever would once I finished it up but I probably will. I also finished one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and is that thirteen? Two, three, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I was about to say last time I counted there were fourteen. Uh, fourteen uh, individual just loose uh, tea bags I had acquired from somewhere. Plus a chamomile, which for some reason I threw the package away. So, 15 of these loose tea bags, and of the just general tea bags, this is all I have left. My husband, what I do is we usually drink hot tea at night, and I'll just hold the bag, and my husband will just reach in and pick one out. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of just the. In general, everything's different. This is traditional English. This is Irish breakfast. Um, another English tea time. So as the just general teas, we've got, what I say, six of those left to try. Then, I had these in a box. But I saw one of my canisters, uh, some part of my canister set was free. And so I moved them out of the box into the canister set. But I didn't want to bring... The canister set up in case I dropped it because then that would have been a cry and shame. But I'm getting down to, I don't know if you remember when I first started it, I just want to have some peach tea and some Earl Grey, which is what this is. And then what would fit in this cute little container. I have peach tea in the top, Earl Grey in the, Earl Grey in the bottom. And then I think I have five or six chamomile to go through. I don't really care for chamomile that much. Or chamomile. Don't know. Um, so when I finish those off, I will probably either fill it with Earl Grey or peach tea. So now I have a canister and then this can. So I'm not sure if, um, I think I might just want to get down to this can. And so um, when this gets free, I might take the stuff out of the canister. Or I might leave it in there. I don't know. Haven't decided on that. But when I get just down to this, which I'm pretty close because I only have six more tea bags to go, then I will consider my project complete. But I'll probably get on one more time uh, to show you my teapots and things like that. Speaking of which, let me show you my tea accoutrements that I put the loose tea in. I received this from a friend of mine. A little gift. It's got like an apple and a pear of blue. It looks like a little teacup. And what you do with these is you open it up, you put the loose tea in one side, close it back up, uh, close the latch, and then that fits in your teacup and the chain in this goes over the edge. So when you want to pull it out, you just pull out on the little cup and it'll pull it out of your cup and Put it in the next what i have found i don't know how much i'm supposed to use i don't measure what i do is i just fill up one half of it 
and I can get four cups of tea. When I make tea for myself, I always make a tea for my husband. He's always up for hot tea also. Um, and we can actually use what fills up this side, and then when the water gets in, it actually fills up the whole thing. It expands. Uh, we can use that for four cups of tea before it gets too weak. So I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use it, uh, but that is what I do. I also have another one from the same friend over the holidays. Got me this one with a cute little, I don't know if that's like a holly leaf or whatever with little three holly berries. And it's the same situation. Um, you open the clasp, you fill one side, you close it, and then it sits in your cup of water with this hanging out so you can just pull it out by the decoration. One other item I have, which is not the same type of thing, excuse me, did you hear that creak? It just hit the ground, just hit the ground. This cute little tea thing. Now what I do with this, now again, I'm not a tea aficionado. I don't know how you're like really supposed to use it. I assume that this is when you have the loose um, tea in your teapot then you put this over your cup and pour it. And then this little thing is handy. So when this is like wet or whatever to just set in. What I do with it, because I'm strange, but I think that's what the actual use is it, is I sometimes will put the loose tea in here, set it over the cup and do a pour over with the hot water and just have it pour through um, instead of having it steep in a teapot only because I'm weird and that's how I started because I don't really know what I'm doing if somebody like really knows the procedure or has a video on like the real procedure let me know I uh, this holds a dear place in my heart because my husband and I went to uh, Great Britain or England uh, I realized different. I don't think we went out of the English part. I've been to Great Britain before where I went through England and Wales and Scotland, but for the honeymoon, my husband and I, I think we stayed in the England part and we went to Harrods and had uh, afternoon tea and with the champagne and the three tiered plates and everything. And it was so neat. And I bought this at Harrods as I'm not sure, except for jelly that we pretty much like ate right away from the Cotswolds, which I think we actually ate it before we got home, uh, was basically our souvenir. You know, it was our honeymoon. It was such a great time. I got this then. I love it. I use it. Maybe not properly, but I use it. And so that is the accoutrements I wanted to show you. Maybe when I finish up the project, I'll show you what teapots I have, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye.